Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy and welcome to the Queen Rearing Series. In this series we're going to show you how to graft queens, how to raise them, how to mate them in the four-way mating nuke, and also how to overwinter them in this four-way mating nuke so that you can have queens in the early spring for your apiary. This is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. We'll show you everything along the way. We're going to do a video once or twice a week. We'll also show you how to make this equipment. So I hope you're excited about learning how to rear some queens. Now let's get started. Well, we want to uh, get in here and check the cluster today. It's warm enough. It's almost 70. The only thing I did to this since winter was we put this pollen patty on there in the last video because they needed some food but it was way too cold to uh, put any syrup on. But now it's time, we can put some syrup on. And we're gonna check the cluster out a little bit here. See, uh, see if they're laying. Looks like they're eating this patty nicely. We didn't put a whole lot on because there's not a ton of bees in this, but we don't need a ton of bees to start, to restart. All we need is enough to keep that queen alive and warm. And uh, that's all we're trying to do is overwinter our queen and then we'll use her in some other unit when we need her. And until then she'll be in this, building this up so that we can make more queens. And so the idea is you could stack a second level on this and build out more of your uh, frames until it's time to breed queens. But you can see the combs, those were built last year, even though they're dark, um, they put a lot of, that was a brood comb that I grabbed from another one I think, and I think we put a frame of honey in here last time if I remember. So there's that one, looks like they stored some pollen in there already. Let's see what they did with this, I believe this was the frame of honey that we put in there. Well, yeah, they're storing pollen nicely. And uh, they got some some sealed brood up there and some larva. So they're going along just fine. We have a very small cluster. But in the small box, it's obviously enough to Lay eggs. There's a nice little section of capped brood. And on this side, same thing. About the size of a baseball. Looks like the eggs and larvae are going down a little further now. There's a bee with some pollen saddlebags. So they're doing good. Looks like they're doing good. Last time I didn't find the queen because I didn't want to open it. It was too cold. If you remember we took a couple frames out and then we didn't. But this time we're going to look for Obviously there's a queen in here because there's brood eggs and larva. There's a bee with some really big saddlebags of pollen. They're feeding these guys but I just want to uh, there she is. You can see she's not She's rather small. She's not a huge one, but she's doing good. And she's keeping this hive alive. So we're not gonna go through the whole thing. We saw the queen. We know that she's got a good section of brood here. And uh, I don't wanna disturb them too much because they did make it all the way through winter. And I'm pretty happy with that. I didn't do a single thing to this thing. I just took that divider out, let them combine, and uh, that was it. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.